Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana is now. About two days ago, Migori Senator Ochilo Ayako held a function in Migori County. And then during that function, two unknown people riding on a motorbike emerged from nowhere and attempted to disrupt that function by throwing tear gas canisters on the people who had attended that function. Then upon that happening, very, very fast and very quickly, Dennis Itumbi took to his social media accounts and had this to say. Dennis Itumbi, ODM, the party of violence and gunshots. Hashtag Azimio Lafujo. And then he attaches a video of what happened during the Migori incident. That was Dennis Itumbi. And upon Dennis Itumbi posting this, it never took more than one day and William Ruto was in Mombasa. And upon William Ruto landing in Mombasa, very, very funny things happened there. I want you to listen to this clip or rather this short clip of older aspirants talking about what they went through I immediately William Ruto landed in Mombasa. After which, as usual, we are going to compare these two incidents, Migori incident and the Mombasa incident, to exactly know where the truth lies. Listen into this. Manake Ruto anajua hawa tu nawabaya, lakini kila kija ni hawa tu watatu. Mwame Dali, Marisazai, na Umare Sansarayo. Lakini hawa ni wanabiyashara, si wanasiasa. <clears throat> Wote ni wezi, mina za kusema hivu. Wote ni majambazi. Ruto wakiondoka hapa kuna chama, chama tunachua sisi. Lakini ata kuambia serikali ya Kenya, kitengo cha polisi na CID na NSIS, wachunguzi hawa watu walikuwa na niagani na mimi. Kama walivu nipigia kiasi hii, kuniumiza na mna hii, kunipigia kiasi hii, kama ngombe, eh? mashikio, Na hizi chai za bure zita kuumiza William Ruto. Hizi chai za nyumbani kwa mtu. Lunch kwa mtu. Una lose 50% for your aspirant. Watu garibu nusu ya chamachako wanakimbia kunengana na ujambazi wa Hassan Omar Sarai. Wanambia ulikuwa jeshi lakini matako yako ni kama mishimboko. Hassan Omar Sarai. Mimi na kuambia pana kunitumia vinyangarika vako. Kuja pambana mimi kama ni mwana siyasa. Wacha kunitumia watu wanajeshi wa maumbwa wako. Wala mbo na watuma kuja kunipiga. Kama we ni mwanaume pambana na mimi mwanaume mwazako. Mahali yote, pahali yote, tukutane mina we bega kwa bega. Hapana kunitumia majeshi yako na wahuni wako, bodigadu wako ni pigia kiasi hii. Nataka kumambia mutiambai, nataka kumambia DIG uli ambugwa, nataka kumambia kinoti, nataka kumambia nyurudin haji, wachunguze imanyeno lufanyua, imanyeno siya haki. Na kama yu diye kuna haki, basi uli ya buruto huna haki. Ya kueka wako, ora kutu pigia sisi. Tumekuja kushindikiza wewe. Hatu kuja kufanya ukora. Watu nasema wili ya kutu wamevamiwa. Hakuna watu wamevamia. Ni watu wa sara wametuvamia. Tumajua moja bada moja. Lakini wanyezi mungu yuko na sisi. Hatu mtaki kupambana na nini. Wala na nini. Lakini spoko na mezungukwa na majambazi mombasa. Umezungukwa na waizi. Sarai ni mwizi. Mumediali ni mwizi. Karisanzai ni mwizi. Wana kuzunguka nyuma. Wanajifanya wako na wewe, ukiondoka hawa na chama. Wana makesi kutini, wachunguze, na wote ni waizi. Lakini mina taku wambia kama niko hae sija kufa. Mwanzu wangoma ni lele, ndiyo sase meanza. Tutapambana bega kwa bega. Mimi na njini. Yes. Those are UDA leaders and Tangatanga leaders and aspirants in Mombasa. And from the way they are talking, they are making it very clear that during William Ruto's tour in Mombasa, Hassan Omar Jijopebu and some other people there organized goons to beat them. That's one thing they are making very, very clear. Older leaders, Omar, Hassan Omar Jijopebu, organized goons to beat them. That is one thing they are actually trying to say there. And then secondly, they are just exposing to Kenyans that Tangatanga leaders or Uda wanted to portray that some people had attacked William Ruto, or rather had attacked Tanga Tanga leaders in Mombasa. So they wanted maybe to paint a picture that most definitely 
they were attacked by ODM supporters. Yes. ODM wanted to use that occasion or event to say they were attacked by maybe ODM supporters. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That's our analysis and discussion today. So if you've, you've just bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. What does that mean? I'm seeing a situation where Tanga Tanga propaganda here has actually backfired and it has backfired very, very badly. Tanga Tanga, or rather Uda, wanted to paint a picture that ODM party is a party of violence. But it never took more than one day. Their own leaders, Tanga Tanga aspirants, Uda aspirants, have actually confirmed that in Tanga Tanga we have thugs. People who can mobilize and organize hooligans to beat others. In the Migori incident or case, ladies and gentlemen, in fact, it's even not known who might have organized those two, or rather who might have paid those two unknown people to disrupt Ochilo Ayako's event. In fact, fingers are being pointed at maybe Ochilo Ayako's opponent. And in this case, maybe Dalmas Otieno or even Okoth Obado. And as things stand today, Dalmas Otieno seems to be a close ally of Okoth Obado, the Migori governor. Okoth Obado is a non-William Ruto ally, though in the few days he has been showing some mixed signals. So in the Migori case, ladies and gentlemen, without even taking sides, is not yet known who might have attempted to disrupt Ochilo Ayako's event. It's not even known. But in the Mombasa case, it's very clear that the hooligans were organized and paid by Tanga Tanga or other older leaders. And that man talking there just exposes that. That's a very senior older leader in Mombasa. So in the two events, in the Migori case, it's not known who organized that this kind of a disruption. But in the Mombasa incident, it's known that it was organized by older leaders, Hassan Omar Jopegu, and some people there. So the first propaganda has actually backfired badly. Tanga Tanga through Denis Situmbi wanted to paint ODM party as a party of violence, but that has backfired. In fact, in, within less than one day, it has been proved that actually Uda is actually the party of violence. The party of thugs were Kora. That's something that comes out very clearly without taking sides. The second propaganda, Tanga Tanga and Dennis Itumbi wanted to start peddling lies that this man, this older person, this older aspirant was actually attacked by ODM supporters in Mombasa. They wanted to paint that picture that William Ruta had been attacked by some ODM goons or supporters in Mombasa. And we have been seeing such, such kind of cases very frequently. So this aspirant again is just confirming that maybe Oda or Tanga Tanga wanted to portray that kind of a picture. Again, that propaganda has actually backfired. Tanga Tanga or Oda attacked their own supporters, attacked their own aspirants. So the, back, the propaganda there has also badly backfired. Yes. What does this whole thing mean? It just means, ladies and gentlemen, that William Ruto and his team, they are still here to learn the political ropes. They are still here to learn the political ropes. Their political moves are really being exposed very easily. An indication that they have not really upped their games politically very well. They still don't know how to do some of these things. An indication that they are still politically naive, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, before I conclude, just as I did indicate when you were starting, if you've just bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And to those who are watching us outside Kenya, 
for the very first time. Drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. By constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who is also a fan of us here, but you have not yet subscribed, take this moment right now, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. And if possible, also drop a comment. Give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. And to any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We hit the nail straight on the head. We call it as it is, without any fear or any favor. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.